Now, the first animal I want to look at is the unicorn. Notice what it says in Psalm 92, verse 10. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Look, there's no indication in this verse that this is a fake creature. The Bible clearly says the horn of a unicorn. And look, just a few verses later, it talks about the importance of dwelling in church, how you'll bring forth fruit in old age. And Baptists would preach that and say, Amen. Well, we can't shy away from a couple verses earlier. It is also the Word of God, right? The Bible says the horn of a unicorn. Now, here's a definition I found online of a unicorn. It says the unicorn is a legendary creature that has been described since antiquity as a beast with single, large, pointed, spiraling horn projecting from its forehead. So, of course, a lot of kids, they love unicorns, right? They'll have the stuffed animal or the book bag or something like that. And, you know, uh, you know young kids especially love this creature and everything like that. But let me just say this, that whenever we're trying to figure out what something is, our first source of knowledge is what? The Word of God, right? And here's what I would say, that when you look up various animals in the Bible, they represent different things. For example, if you think about the ant, what does an ant represent? Hard work, right? Isn't that what the Bible says? Go to the ant, thou sluggard, right? When we see an ant, it shows us and it reminds us we need to work hard. You say, why? Because ants have drank like 20 cups of coffee every day. They're always just like moving around. It's like, man, just calm down a little bit. But they work very hard. So certain animals represent different things, and the unicorn represents something very specific, okay? So if we're trying to figure out what is this unicorn, what does the Bible say? Numbers 23, verse 22. God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. Now let me ask you a question. When kids have this little stuffed animal of this unicorn, when you see that animal, do you think, what a strong animal that is? That's not what I think. I mean, I don't really, I mean, that animal would get torn apart in the jungle pretty quickly. Right? You would not say that is a strong animal. So here's what I'm going to tell you. The unicorn that's mentioned in the Bible is not the picture that you're thinking. You say, well, Brother Sucky, what is this animal? A unicorn is a one-horned rhinoceros, and I'm going to prove that to you. Number one, we look at the Bible as our source of knowledge. We're looking at a really strong animal. Does a rhino fit with a really strong animal? Absolutely. I look at it as the baddest, toughest animal pound for pound that there is. Also, uh, in today's world, there are basically five species of rhinos left, and four of those species are two-horned. One species is one, species is one horn. This is known as the Indian rhino, okay? It's native to the country of India. For the chubbiest rhino is also called a unicorn and is built like a knight in shinning armor. I'm sure you've seen this slogan on many t-shirts and other promotional items to help save the rhino, save the chubby unicorn. In fact, the nickname of the greater one-horned or Indian rhino is the unicorn rhino. It's just obvious a, a unicorn is a rhino. The one-horned rhino that exists in India, the scientific name has unicorn in the name. The dictionary says a one-horned rhino is a unicorn. Right? I mean, this, this is one, and you can disagree with me all you want. This one's just obvious. One other piece of information. Nowadays, scientists actually say that, you know what, we've discovered the unicorn is not a fake animal. It's actually a real animal. According to a study published last month in the American Journal of Applied Science, a species called Elasmotherium sibiricum, the Siberian unicorn, went extinct much later than previously thought. Researchers from Tomsk State University believe they've found fossil evidence of a Siberian unicorn prancing around just 29,000 years ago. The E. sibiricum was the size of a mammoth covered in hair and is thought to have had a large horn protruding from its forehead, hence the title Siberian Unicorn. They say that, you know what, the unicorn's actually real, but it's not this horse or this pony with this ice cream cone sticking out of its head. It, it, it's actually a rhinoceros that has become extinct, right? And I agree with them. 